Hello and welcome back to Fen Class Radio. This is Dr. Sahil Naran. In this video, we'll be discussing about alternate data sources to the Provis DX. The last time we discussed that we'll be using Provis DX or uh, some some IQ database for data extraction purpose, and we'll try to use that data for our purpose and data analysis or uh, maybe some industry analysis or some company analysis for management accounting purpose. We'll try to understand the cost structures of different industries and we'll compare that with our own company. And then we'll also try to understand what are different cost component in the cost lines of the financial statements, say income statement or the profit and loss account. And we'll try to understand how these cost items can be used for our purpose in the managerial accounting and internal control decision making. So in this video, I'm going to tell you one database which is available at the Institute and you can use that database for the purpose of management accounting. You can do industry analysis and you can do the company analysis. You can also look at key financial ratios and the news. The database is quite amazing and also has a very easy to use graphical user interface. I'll show you the database which is available, the name of this database is CapitalLine. You can access this by registering to the CapitalLine.com. This is the website of the database. And if you just click on this CapitalLine AWS website, you will see different options appear here on the website. And here you can Register yourself as a new user by filling up your institute's email ID, the student ID, and other details. I have already filled and I have already got a username which is activated and I'm using right now. So I'll directly move to the website. On the CapitaLine AWS databases, on this home page, you will see different options. For example, screener and corporate events company, industry, house, and other different options. So for our convenience, we are using in, in this tutorial, the only industry button in the menu. So if you click on the industry, you see that some numbers have appeared, but these numbers may not come when you initially start the database. So what you have to do, you have to understand the industry panel. On the left hand side, you will see that different buttons are coming up and these buttons show general, finance, working results, key ratios and industry news. In the general, you will be seeing different options like the fact sheet and the sector trends related to the industry. In finance, you will be able to see the aggregated industry-wise balance sheet, the profit and loss account, the fund holdings and the cash flow statement and many other things. Similarly, in the working results, you will see the quarterly, half yearly, and quarterly results. In the key ratios, you will see the key financial ratios, for example, the profitability, solvency, and other different ratios. In industry news, you can get a lot of news about the industry so that it will give you insights about the industry and you can use this these insights for your cost control accounting and learning the management accounting and also the report preparation purpose. So before we start, other component is this particular area in this user interface. In this particular area, you will see your data and there's a search button where you can input your industry name. So for example, if I have to work on steel industry, I need steel industry data. I will just click on the steel large because I need the large company's data. You see that a lot of data has already appeared in the data area of this user interface. Now on the left hand side, I will go to this window and I will click on the finance section to expand the list. I will see the profit and loss account appears here and I need Post related data, so I'll definitely move to the profit and loss account in the financial statements. So you need to understand that different options appear, for example, condensed, which presents the abridged form of the financial statements, 
items within the different ma major categories will not appear if you choose the condensed one but if you choose the detailed one you will see within the, some items for example sales turnover you will see different subcategories of the items but we need for simplification purpose the condensed one because we are doing the coastline analysis and at least for the sake of this tutorial we need the only condensed version similarly the second option appears the aggregated and the comparative so we need the total figures and the actual figures that we click on the cover. So we get the final useful data that we can use for our industry analysis and our company analysis. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this data and shift this data to, to Excel. So there's a button in the top right corner, export to Excel. We will use this button and we'll export this to Microsoft Excel. I'll download somewhere in, in, in the downloads. You can save as per the choice. And once I get this data in Microsoft Excel. A few important things that we are going to work in this tutorial are we'll be talking about different type of expenses. The raw material expense, the power and cost, the employee cost, the other manufacturing expenses. And we'll see how these make the total expenditure. I'll give it some color for identification purpose. And then I'll add on a few columns, new roles, so that we can calculate our ratios. For example, the raw material to total expenses ratio and power and fuel ratio and other different ratios i start with the raw material ratio but before that i highlight our working area the active cells where we will be working and i will give it a light green color for identification purpose so first ratio that we are going to calculate is raw materials ratio which is going to be raw material to total x this is expenditure actually. Similarly, we'll figure out about the other ratios and I can give them some name. For example, the second one is power and fuel. The third one is employee cost and Fourth one is other manufacturing expenses, and the fifth one is I'll directly take the selling, general, and administrative expenses. So only these ratios for now we have to take, and we will try to understand how raw material makes the total expenditure, what proportion of the total expenditure is what we are spending on the raw material. And we have 10 years that I will try to understand the trend in the steel industry, specifically the large farms. So I have got a few numbers. I want to convert these numbers to percentage form up to two decimal. And you see that 68.20% or 22% of the total expenditure is being spent in the raw material. That gives us a hint that this steel industry is quite raw material intensive industry. A lot of money is being spent on the raw material itself. Similarly, we can understand how much money we are spending on, on the power and fuel. So you got some numbers to convert these numbers in percentage term. And similarly, we'll try to understand the employee cost in relation to the total expenditure and other manufacturing expenses in relation to the total expenditure and then selling general and administrative expenses in relation to the total expenditure. So I hope that I have done the calculations right so that do a recheck to make sure that there is no error. Now I'll copy paste this to other different cells, populate this data to the 10 years. 
now we can take the percentage form of these numbers we will see that 8.10 percent or close to 8 percent little bit up and down or maybe sometimes even 10 percent of your money is being spent on the power and fuel so you go to understand the industry trend in relation to the costing so that you can understand what is your variable cost what is your material cost what is going to be your labor cost so these kind of costing decisions will help you in understanding the prime cost work cost for the internal controls so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will try to understand the detailed form of profit and loss account for the industry and in the upcoming video we will expand our analysis to the company we will also do many other things related to the costing decision and uh, we'll try to understand the course some news in the industry how it can affect different cost items so i hope you can do the analysis part for now that 68 percent to 53 percent is the range of the raw material cost that for the last 10 year large companies are spending on on the raw material in the steel industry similarly in the power and fuel you can make an idea that from 8 percent something to 10 percent approximately the total expenditure uh, 10% of the total expenditure is being spent on the power and the fuel. And in the employee cost, approximately, we are spending 4% something to 10%. And on the selling and administrative, we are spending approximately 5-6%. So these numbers give you an idea, but you need to know the news, you need to know the market uh, thing happening, the trend happening in the market so that you can take the season. So and in the detail item analysis also you try to see uh, what is actually happening within the material category how are we doing okay so thank you for joining in keep tuned for the upcoming tutorials on the posting and the industry analysis thank you